So last week I saw this question on Reddit and I was really surprised to find that I didn't have a video on this topic. And the question was, how do I go about filleting all these edges on this model? I want to fill it this edge up here in the corner and I want to fill it this edge here in this corner and I want to fill it this edge here. And it just seems to take forever to go through and choose all these edges individually. There must be a better, easier way to do this. And the answer is yes, there absolutely is an easier way to do this. And this is what we're going to talk about here today day in this video. But the answer is also that this is something that we talk about in detail in the upcoming training class, Toby's Advanced SW Part Design. We're going to be teaching this class at the end of this month. And this topic of fillets is a deep, deep topic. In fact, it's the entire first section of the book. It's all about fillets and chamfers. And we go into each of the different fillet types. And then within each of these different fillet types, we break down all the different options that you see for each of these different fillet types. So we really go in depth on the fillet command. If you're ever interested in learning more about fillets or really learning more about advanced part design in general, that class is an absolute banger. We're teaching it later this month. Link down below in the description to sign up for that class. So the first thing that I teach my students when it comes to creating fillets is that you press the letter S on your keyboard. That brings up your shortcut toolbar, one of my favorite toolbars in SolidWorks. And then you choose the fillet command and then you immediately let go of your mouse and you'll notice that the radius of the fillet is currently highlighted, meaning it is editable. So you type in the desired radius. I'm gonna type in the radius here of 12. So that means this area over here was highlighted. So as soon as I press the S key, begin the fillet command, let me just do it again here. S key, fill it, and then I let go of my mouse and I type in 12 and I press enter. And now we see that the value of 12 has been entered into that box. Now, the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna pick an edge that you can see. So I can see this edge right here. But the remaining edges, you'll notice that I cannot see those remaining edges. And so I have to rotate the view around to pick those edges, right? Well, in SolidWorks, in the fillet command, way down here at the bottom, so I'll kind of minimize some of these things here so that we can see at the very bottom. There's a section at the very bottom here called fillet options. And in that section called fillet options, there's this option here that says select through faces. And what that option does is it lets you select an edge without needing to rotate the model. It's kind of like the model is in wireframes. When the model is in wireframe, I can pick through and I can pick that edge in, in normal selection mode. Well, when the model is in shaded with edges mode, you can't do that. You can't pick through the face and pick that edge unless you're in fillet mode and you've got this option checked on here, select through faces. So that means I could get this edge here and this edge here as well. And you can see that I was able to get all three of those edges. You'll also notice that when I'm doing the fillet command after I pick an edge, so let me unselect this and then I'm gonna pick it again. My cursor changes to a little green check mark on the right click button. And that means that as soon as you pick your final edge, you can immediately right click and that finishes the command. So that is certainly gonna make this process faster, but wait, there's more. Uh, that's actually not the method that I would use to fill it all these edges. Instead, what I would do, that's just, that's just a little warm up here, a little taste of what you're gonna get during the training class. But instead what I would do, let me control Z here. Instead what I would do is I would press the letter S on my keyboard. I would choose the fillet command. I would type in the desired radius. So I'm gonna type in, uh, I'm gonna type in nine this time, enter. You notice that even though the, the property manager isn't open, it's still gonna give me that fillet parameter. Look, nine, it changed it to nine here. So even though the property manager wasn't open, the workflow still works. You press the S key, begin the fillet, and then you immediately type the radius and press enter one time. And now what I'm gonna notice is that here in the items to fillet section of the property manager, there's this option that says show selection toolbar. And from that option that says show selection toolbar, what I'll see is when I pick the first edge, this menu shows up. This is the selection toolbar. See, if I turn that option off, show selection toolbar, unselect that edge, pick it again, nothing shows up, the toolbar doesn't show up. And what that toolbar does is it will automatically select all of the edges that are highlighted in purple. So you'll notice here that I've got all these different options for which edges I wish to select. And I think if I wanted to fill it all of the inside corners of all of the pockets, I would choose this option here. And look at that, all of those edges are filleted. I can right mouse button and choose okay. And boom, that fillet command is complete. I was able to get all those edges all at the same time. And that is the answer to that question on Reddit. And that is your fillet shortcut video of the day. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I hope that you learned a lot. 
Be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Let me know down in the comments what you learned about this. And if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy my style of teaching, consider signing up for that upcoming training class, Advanced Part Design with Too Tall Toby. It's two days live with me over a web meeting, and we're going to learn a lot about filleting and multi-body and sweeps and lofts and patterning and all kinds of other fun advanced part design techniques. Otherwise, I'll look forward to seeing everyone in the next video.